Hi everyone, Karen Morales. My mom sent me something in Messenger uh, that was an interview on CBS with uh, the activist mommy, Elizabeth Johnson, and she was calling um, a day of mourning, which is going to be happening tomorrow, February 23rd. I don't know if it was really her that um, initiated it or somebody did, but um, I think it's a great idea. Uh, the idea is to repent of our sin and repent of this abortion basically repent of abortion I, and also I encourage y'all to um take this opportunity to repent of any sin in your life or anything that you stood up for that was not um that did not have biblical principles and um or is contrary to the word of God so my plan if I can get around to it because it's getting late now um is to get some black balloons and send them up in the sky just as a sign, as a reminder, that this is a day of mourning. And when I think of the word mourn, I think of the color black. Like a lot of people um, wear at a funeral. Well, basically, this is kind of like having a funeral. Or, you know, remembering all those children lost through abortion. And uh, we need to have a wake-up call, people. Abortion should not be a necessity or a way just to get rid of something unwanted. This is a child. This is not getting rid of tissue. This is not getting rid of some unwanted part or tumor in a woman's body. This is a child, a separate being. Um, DNA, its own DNA, its own blueprint, its own fingerprints. Um, completely human and we are taking the lives of these innocent children we need to stop you may be saying well I'm not doing anything you know it's their choice well you by giving by saying it's okay or you think it's okay for women to have a choice in this then you're not doing anything about it your silence can be your support of this of this heinous crime and uh, we need to stand up for what is right if you've never seen an abortion video or you think you know what it really means I encourage you to watch it it will change your mind it will change your life and if it doesn't there's something incredibly wrong and um, no one uh, should be able to look at something like that and not be disturbed by it by an abortion procedure uh, I've seen several and it has disturbed me and I always I was thinking how could they do that to that poor little baby there was one I saw where this baby was just they removed it looked like it was 20 something weeks old put it in a pan a metal bowl which you usually don't do uh, with premature babies with premature babies they put them in an incubator they hook up tubes to them uh, maybe one down their throat or in their nose and they help them survive there's some hospitals and some people that have refused service um, to babies they didn't think were going to be able to live uh, that early and uh, I've seen some articles and stuff about it which is wrong too um, but uh, usually with a baby that age you're not going to put them in a metal bowl like that. Well, in the case of abortion, it seems like anything goes. So that's basically what they're doing. They're just removing the baby and they're leaving it to die. They are not concerned about life. Uh, it was just awful. And they were moving the baby around and everything. And it was just terrible. It looked like it was dying. And um, also the gentleman, the abortionist, you could see they showed a full frontal of the woman you know that was getting the abortion and so you could see her parts and everything and he just left his instrument leaning right against her uh vagina and that is so unethical to me just bad practice and there's no care no sensitivity um so i encourage you to watch something like that uh to get let it get a hold of you because this is the, the reality of it. And also, if you read some articles or some other things about um, how abortion is handled, um, botched abortions or um, a failed abortion when the baby still survived, I, I read one that a man actually, um, the abortionist actually drowned the child 
or, you know, they'll do things or leave them to die, you know, and uh, the thing is, they don't want to be held accountable or responsible um, for these procedures or if they're committing illegal ones. This does happen, y'all. This isn't something to be played with, but we really need to take opportunity of this. So please, take a day of fasting. Take a day and just cry out to the Lord tomorrow. Um, think about these babies. Pray for these babies. Pray for the mothers of the of the aborted or pray for the mothers of the aborn, unborn that are um, contemplating this. Because there are other options. Abortion doesn't have to be it. Adoption is a great one. There are a lot of people out there. And people that I know. That want to have a baby and can't. And sometimes adoption is their only option. And um, they'd be so happy and willing to adopt your baby. You know? And... Um, but there's never any reason. And there's some women that are either forced into this or they are um, being sexually abused. So their predator takes them to these clinics and uh, they will have an abortion. And the thing is, a staff doesn't even um, report like, you know, statutory rape or anything like that or child abuse or anything like that they just go on with it this is a sad reality this is awful and um some women go in because they can't afford it the wit married women go in for this and i just read something about that today uh there was apparently a video that uh went out and um uncovered basically um the lie you know the abortionists will put out or you know that there has to be a medical reason uh, for an abortion. There really isn't. Because uh, apparently there was a woman that was being, being interviewed. Eight months old. In in the abortion waiting room. Uh, waiting to have an abortion. And she was explaining to the uh, person that was going undercover. Acting like she was going to go for an abortion. She was explaining to her that there was absolutely nothing wrong with the baby. It didn't have Down syndrome. There was nothing. And apparently her husband... It didn't want her to go through it, you know, that they work it out. And she said, I guess she had said to him, apparently she was telling the other person, she said to him that, you know, you're not the one staying at home raising it. I am. And so, and they already have two children. So it's just really sad. And apparently when the lady left that um, clinic, she was praying that God would do something for that woman, you know, and um, for that baby. So it's it's really sad. These babies are dying and um, even late-term abortions. Y'all, this is awful. I know I've said it, but it's awful, awful, awful. Uh, that's kind of like an understatement. Um, but, you know, God is a giver of life. And I don't believe that he wants us killing his creation, especially when he has made us to be able to pro pro procreate. <laughs> um and uh have children um so just take this opportunity and um a day of mourning i'm all for the activist mommy i'm for you elizabeth johnson um good call on this one and i hope you get a lot of support on this and i hope a lot of people participate god bless y'all